Gentlemen, welcome back to the B stream from the Seed Story Cup live from Krefeld, Germany. And now we are seeing Asmodai versus Saleh and the losers loser decider match. Yeah, it's a losers match of the yeah. series. Welcome back, guys. Of course, we're still Basti and Volle. And uh, we are seeing this hunter of Zaleh face off versus the, let's find out, Paladin, oh yeah, of. Uh, Asmodai, and uh, a lot of uh, Asmo fans and a lot of Zalay fans yeah. actually in this chat, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> that so, chat uh, is going crazy again. I love it, man. I mean, that's what Twitch chat is about, man. The copy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Who won between Powder and JJ? JJ3 owed him with his hunter, guys. Yeah, it was really fast. Hi, Casters. Hi, Viper. What's going on, man? Oh, the scientist top deck. It's actually big right here. Coming out immediately. Wait, is there like a spectator bug, or can I not see this card? Is or, like, is there supposed to be a card here? I don't. Know. There's a. This is a bug for sure. We're gonna reconnect. Okay, you're gonna reconnect. Oh and uh, Yeah, yeah. We can't see the cards. Like, we can just see <laughs> them pulling them, but it's definitely nice. It's definitely a bug. I've had that before. <laughs> All right. So, uh, chat wise. There we go. Not not player wise, but chat wise. Who do you think will win? Chat wise? Yeah. Which fanboys are bigger? Ooh, Who's that's a good question. Which fan Well, uh, that depends on the spam, right? Like right now, it's looking good for Asma, but there's a lot of. Yeah, the uh, Slay fans, they're not as big spam wise, but I got the feeling they're strong as a force. Oh, yeah, for sure. And. Uh, there's actually a lot of like. I mean, I see, I see somebody there who's subbed to both of these guys. That's awesome. Oh, nice. This is a dream come true. Also nice. Rackful is playing against um, Stensivka. On the mainstream, yeah. On the yeah. mainstream. And uh, I watched um, the VOD of Rackful's stream that he made from this location. Yeah. And Stensivka was arriving, and he was greeting him, and, hey, what's your name? Stensivka, oh, okay. And then he was talking to his chat, like, I have no idea who this is. And <laughs> the whole chat <laughs> went, like, full face, <laughs> face palm, like, dude, he's the uh, magic champion. Awesome. Oh, really, is he? I don't really know too I much about I don't know, him. I think he was magic, the gathering world champion. Okay. And now they're facing each other. Well, a lot of, like... Uh Hearthstone Pros originally played Magic, like, for example, Orange did the same. So, oh, I like this. It's like attacking into this. Um, reason why I like it is that the explosive trap diminishes in value over this. Obviously, that's nothing that Asmo is like planning with, but it's still pretty good. So, we do see double Consec in hand of Asmo. But, uh, we'll see how, like, how good is that really? It might turn out to be pretty good, as Crip would say. If he does decide to play Haunted Creeper and the uh, Infiltrator, because then he gets easy procs and a value consec. But other than that, this hand's like not too dreamy, man. I mean, he does have the bow, but he has double bow and a trap in hand. It's not what you want. I guess like bow and Infiltrator seems like a decent turn. You don't have to be scared of any sort of Quartermaster just yet, but we'll see. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Yes, he's thinking about it a long time. <laughs> I mean, the hand of Asmodai, to be honest, like, other than the one Consecration getting serious value is absolutely trash. Like, you don't want that right now. Like, the double owl he had in hand, like, that's not helpful. So, uh, yeah, like, you can't really do much here but trade. I mean, actually, you know what? He might end up just playing a Consecration just because he has two of them, and he does have three one ones. I like that more, actually. You have double Consec. Yeah, you want to use one here, I'm pretty sure. Just to take out the Worgen as well, right? It's like it's like a free tool you're taking care of. Sure, it's only one mana, but like you're removing four mana here with four mana yourself. Yep. If you keep your board intact, it's pretty decent. There's no Unleash, you're pretty sure of that. Uh, I mean, if there's Unleash, you're seeing it this turn, right? So that's pretty decent. I mean, it might just end up being like an explosive hero power here. That's what I would do as a lay. I mean, he could also like play the Haunted Creeper with it, but... I mean, Explosive Trap is kind of a must-play right now. Hmm. <laughs> Chat spam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just... <laughs> wow. Just I think wow, indeed. at this point, the spam is even more than in the A stream. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Home. 
thinking a long time about this. Yeah. I mean, you might as well. That's difficult. Uh, not really in my opinion, but... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's thinking about the long-term plan of the game. Go Smork. Time does move <laughs> quickly. And he does go with the obvious play here, it seems. Yep. Now, this can't really get diminished by an Argus, so... Oh, wow. Okay. So, I think you attack here. You could also not attack and play the Belcher. But he's going to. Mm. Feels good enough about this with his Belcher. I find that okay. You give the charge to your opponent. That's the main problem I have with this. Yeah. B stream, best stream, indeed. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Abusive. Doesn't do much this turn. He could Haunted Creep or Kill Command, but doesn't do too much. There it is. Taking care of that slime as well. Yeah, that was pretty good. And that would be... Uh, I'd be very surprised to see the silence, just because you know that there's high maids coming. What? Okay. I guess he's doing this for lack of a better play. Chat wars are real. Chat wars, yeah, that's like yeah. the chat wars. And uh, I mean, how many viewers are we at right now? Like th 730? Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the chat wars. Alrighty. Also, Hearthstone players really like to touch their face. Yeah, they do. But uh, that's like just because you think more than in any other games while you don't have to like move, right? Yeah. <laughs> like that's a uh, difference. Hmm. I'm wondering if you could... You know what? I do like this after all. This is really good. You can't take care of... Like this is such... Taking care of this owl is such a bitch. <laughs> like it sucks so hard. <laughs> Like it's such a it's such a tricky move here. You're using so much on it. That's a horrible animal companion as well. Oh wow, that's huge. That is so important right there. That is so important, man. That Tyrion next turn is gonna wreck face so hard. And there's no owl to stop this at all. Like if that comes down, I don't know what Zelene wants to do, man. He yeah. does have a high main. And even that just like takes care of it with something else, and then you're still staring down a five damage weapon. You're even lower than your opponent, even though you're the hunter in this situation. Like, it's actually a big deal. <laughs> top takes top takes. Yep, indeed. I like how you said it at the exact same yeah. time as the character. It's like, hmm. hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, for like not really putting too much information out in between like the times that they're saying stuff. We've had a pretty uh, pretty long days here at Seed Story. It's, but it's been an awesome time. Uh, we can say that much. I mean, we started on Thursday, and we're already on Saturday now, late Saturday, actually. Uh, this is the loser's match. So after this is only the decider's match that's left. And uh, same thing on the mainstream, I believe. Maybe they're, like, up one match or down one match. Um, but, yeah. I mean, still a lot of, like, matches to be heard. I see Milky Badger in the chat as well. What's going on, my man? <laughs> How you doing, sir? All okay. right. Damage Comes being tossed out here. Scientists. Mad Scientist is, like, it's okay here, right? And, it, like, actually, it looks good. But then you see Tyrion coming out here, and you just, you're just like, okay. Faith is in the light. Oh, yeah. and my <laughs> button is concede. <laughs> like even an owl doesn't help here, right? Oh, what? Okay, he gets oh it. Oh my okay, god! I just said it. Base. I just said it to say it. You basically, jinxed it. You jinxed it. But it doesn't matter, right? Because. Well. Oh wait, it might matter. Does it? Does it matter? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, he has to like. He has to get a freezing. And. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a huge mistake. No, he just dies. There's 10 damage here. All right. And that's the well played there, probably. Because Asmo is going to take this first game of the series. Oh, my God. He's even get, getting the... Uh, even the two silver. Yeah, two so silver. Okay, so that would have been lethal. No, it wouldn't have been lethal either way. Like, if there was a freezing trap... <laughs> he's even using it. For Zelay, that would have been better. Nice. Yeah, just show the top deck effect. Maybe tilt your opponent a little bit. That would have been good. So, yeah, that's the game. 1-0. Okay. Oh. one oh for uh, Asmo die. 1-0 to Asmo. 
all good, enjoying the four days of Hearthstone. Craig has him at Jake TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see like people having fun, right? Because like, like it's, me personally, I've been involved heavily in planning this yeah. for like the last uh, three months, and like we had to reschedule a couple of times, and it was a mess. So, but like, actually seeing it go down right now, and like it going so well right now, is like it's 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 such a good feeling, man. Feels good, man. Feels good. <laughs> the rarest of Pepe's, my friends. It's really awesome. I really like uh, this comment from I am not deviant. Deviant art. That guy's everywhere, by the yeah. way. Do you see this face? This is the face of Thor. This is the face of a legend. This is the face of young Christopher Walken. Yeah, especially <laughs> the last one. This is the face of a young, young Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. And really... It's true, isn't it? If, if you look at him... Yeah, Asmo. He, he really looks a little bit like Christopher Walken. Yeah, for sure. The I best. And the funniest thing about it is, I mean, you don't know this, but you're going to love it. His first name is actually Christopher as well. No. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. that's pretty funny. Okay. So uh, I think I might be a little bit disappointed if he does not come up here. Uh, with an impression? In, no, not with an impression, but at least a long 10-minute monologue <laughs> like Christopher Walken does. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Loth have picked up. Okay, so we do see Wild Growth Innervate and the coin for Zolay, but not really much to do with it, sadly, and that's due to that <laughs> awkward Savage War. Oh, my. The support for Esmo is so golly gosh is uh is saying that I think it's it's popping in quick on girl. mobile text she's taking forever. Yeah, she's she's uh on the just supporting from a mobile phone. That's awesome, man. Just to support him. Nice. Alright. Well this matchup basically is like uh favored for the druid. I mean that's obviously why Zelay picked it, right? <laughs> So both players, once again, banning uh, Warrior. We haven't even touched on this once. Now, this is something that has happened a lot this tournament, and it's probably due to the fact that, uh, I mean, not only has Patron come back and people aren't really playing around it that much, yeah. but also that it's just, like, it takes away this whole control part of the game. Like, it's, it's kind of a side of a, of, a, of a deck or of a deck range that is so different from the others that if you ban it, it's just, like, you can completely... Like, forget about that, which is awesome. So, oh, yeah. People actually have had higher win rates banning um, Warriors this tournament, which doesn't really say too much, though, to be honest, just because a lot of people have been banning it. Like, it's been one of the main bans, by yeah. far the most banned class. Second one being Paladin. Like, nobody's banning Hunter, for example, even though Hunter's getting insane win rates. Mm. I mean, that becomes obvious when that's, like, the class that gets played more, right? But still, like, I mean, I'm sad to bring this up again, but, like, Frodan 3 0'd Ignite with it. Yeah. In the previous match here, uh, who was it? It was Super um, JJ. Super JJ, three would powder with it. Yeah. Right? Like it's actually insane. Like it's working. Like six O there with Hunter twice. Like that's got to be the best win rate by far. This is a pretty early quality. Did, but did we um, see any new cards? By the way. Yeah, the we saw we uh, we saw a lot of them actually. Yeah, or not a lot of them. That's 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 a lie. But we saw uh, we saw Reno Jackson. Yeah, okay. I read that he's kind of OP. Well, not OP. He's actually a pretty well-balanced card. It's just he's just played in... Well, Twitch chat's going to meme that so hard. Uh, but he's a like, well-balanced card forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, Skill-based and competitive game, you know? It's like, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, it's actually a good card. Like, it's pretty cool. Okay. Because you have to build your deck around it, basically, to make it work. Uh, so that's the card, and Flaming Torch, of course, oh. is, is also a card that we've seen, for example. So uh, Ancient of Lore going to be able to come out here because there's no defense, or no offense, rather, no way to deal with this Aspirant, and Zelay's going to be so happy about that. Like, no uh, True Silver going to be able to come out here. True Silver would have been the perfect pickup there, but he doesn't get it. So, uh, yeah, this is going to go in the completely different direction. He doesn't even have a good play on turn eight, and that just feels bad, man. Fun fact, though. Rena Jackson is ba Did you know that Tom Selleck was supposed to play um, Indiana Jones? Uh, no, I didn't. No, and he couldn't because he was uh, caught up in uh, Magnum. Wow, really? The t uh, TV show, so he couldn't do Indiana Jones, and then Harrison Ford took over. So, Rena Jackson is based off an episode of Magnum PI. Where Tom Selleck is wearing Indiana Jones, the Indi Indiana Jones clothes, because he's referencing to some 
uh, I don't know, some uh, archaeologists. And this card or the um, the art of the card is based off of that episode. It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. Gotta love it. Blizzard is with this stuff. They're really awesome. They are indeed. So the hand of Zelay is also pretty awesome, especially compared to the one of uh, Asmo. Actually, his hand isn't too bad, but like his draws haven't been too good. No, that that's almost the same thing, but only almost because next turn he can play Boom. Ooh, okay. I love this from Zelay. It's so good. It's, oh my god, I can't stress how good this is. <laughs> because now Boom becomes so much slower. Like, it becomes so much slower just through the extra four or potentially eight damage, man. He can't play it now. He just can't. And that looks like such an obvious thing, but I'm going to argue that a lot of people have just, like, maybe taunted it up or, like, played a Belcher and Hero Powered or Azure Dragon and, 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 like, Hero Power. But you set up Lethal this way. I think it's still Lethal, even. Is this still Lethal? It should be. Savage Roar Swipe is lethal for sure. Yeah. And Zelay's going to take the second game of the series, equal it up. Wow. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. And, uh, yeah, Asmo going to have to choose between either his own Druid or his Mage. We will see that in just a second. Hmm. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Hmm. Dude, oh my, my, my throat's God. actually like, getting sore. Not from like casting, but from like running around and like screaming at people. I'm like swift raging and baby raging at people. You're screaming? Well, not screaming, but like talking loud all the time. You know, it's kind of like if you do that for 14 hours a day, it becomes pretty stressful. <laughs> all right, so we are going to see the Druid Mirror matchup. Asmo decided pick to pick into that, but he's on the back side as far as the starting hands go. And what? That is insane. What? Wow. Okay, let me explain how sick this is. So he's going to coin Innervate on turn one for the first shredder, then wild growth into the... Oh, no, man, no, wah, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> you still do it. You still do it. You have to. Thor, so this is the one time Thor set isn't worth it. Shredder's the most unbalanced card on four, for sure. And you can get two out of those by turn three. You go for it. For sure. The only thing that absolutely, like, bums you is, is Wrath. And even then, you have, like, things out of that. You go for it, for sure. There's no way you keep Thorasan here. Or that you keep this for Thorasan. You would have to wait till turn three to do that. Yeah. So you evaluated all this, probably also counting in uh, future draws. But this is the one that's correct. Shredder number one. And Asmo's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that had to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Never lucky. Wild, Wild growth, growth thing over oh. his wrath. Interesting. So valuing his ramp. You know what? This this could work out. It depends on what comes out of the Shredder, basically, because there's the Wild Growth. And now we're going to see Wrath for sure. And... Then the Aspirant's going to come down, depending on what comes out. Oh, wow. That's a really good drop here for Zelay. Sure, it can't take care of... Like, it would have been best case if it could have taken care from uh, taking care of this Aspirant, but he still has a card that's going to give him an extra draw. But he is not going to wake off his turf and actually uh, not kill this, which means that the swipe hero power is going to be possible. And I would be very, very surprised to not see this happen. And that would make the turn five for Zelay pretty awkward. Also in terms of uh, ramp. So this is actually not working out the way it was planned for good old Zelay. That's a pretty good drop, though. That's a really good drop. Jesus Christ. That's just... <laughs> Why is Asmos? Oh, there was a question. Why is Asmos mage grayed out? Uh, should I it thought be it should uh, be paladin. Yep, that's that's correct. The paladin should be grayed out to your production. Mm. So that's going to be a hero power aspirant, unless he wants to cycle wrath, which I would be surprised about because he is yes. going to follow up with Thor's on next turn, so he's going to need all the removal he can get on seven, unless he draws boom. Oh wow, okay. So probably arguing to himself that if he does play. 
Thoros on next turn, he wants an extra card to be like reduced mana wise. This is a weird turn for for Asmo. I mean, it kind of looks like a simple Azure Drake draw. The Azure Drake draw turn. Draws into a keeper. It's not the worst, actually. Oh, wow. An Ancient of Lore off the top. Jesus Christ, Manzalei cannot be unhappy with this. <laughs> What's the score? 1 1. It is Gulligosh. 1 1. Druid Mirror. The great thing about. Uh, the last hero standing format is that you can like pick into the winning deck, which is such a huge advantage to conquest or abo above conquest. Because in conquest you can only do it when like you're up, or you can only do it if you're down 2-0, like in a best of three, for example, and there's only one deck left, and then it sucks, right? So that's the one thing that this has over the other format. Like all the pro players are arguing that it's so so much. Uh, of a better format that they want to have it like anywhere, but Blizzard's okay. probably coming out with a new format at some point anyway. So it reminds me uh, of Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I <g> okay, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? <laughs> <laughs> Your Pokemon stays, and the winning Pokemon stays. And the uh, loser oh. gets to choose uh, the next one. That's to actually counter. that's actually a really good analogy. It's, well, it's semi good analogy <laughs> because <laughs> in, po in, in Pokemon you can like uh, switch out your Pokemon as well, right? Okay, okay, that's true. Okay. What? Okay, so apparently Wreckful conceded his match on the mainstream. Like, his c the complete series? We're, we're listening to production right now. Oh, my God. Okay, so apparently Wreckful conceded a match because he misplayed and he didn't want to continue the match. So, uh, I don't know if, like, that means the series is ended or it's just... Or it's just like the that one match. I guess we're gonna like wait for confirmation. Maybe scroll down in chat and read what people are saying about this. <laughs> While that is happening, we did see the shade and the keeper coming out here for Asmodine. And we're gonna have to see a follow up here from Zalay. And uh, I mean, I would like the obvious play, right? Azure Drake, Wrath, spawn two living root targets. You can't be scared of the swipe at this point, especially not if it sets up lethal with the Savager combo. So. You have to go for it, in my opinion. <laughs> Wreckful Ellie giggle, yeah. Okay, he appears to be uh, continue playing. <laughs> All right. So the rope is burning, Stop man. Stop being salty, Wreckful. The rope burns. Okay. Huh, I like this. I like it because he gets a combo that's like really low cost. And he has like like he has so much damage now. Oh my god, this is so much damage. This is at least 17 damage from hand. Right? Because it's 14 from the combo, plus you can hero power with it. So that makes it 15, plus two from the living roots burst. So that's a lot of damage. So he's one off lethal at this point. Unless there's like a hero <coughs> power, which would make it two from Asmo. Which is probably going to happen, but it's still, like, pretty sick. Hmm. All right. What's it going to be, buddy? I would like a Savage Roy, to be honest. Sure, it loads out his combo, but oh, I could also force oh. it. Oh, Stensifka said they could rematch if he wanted, so now they're playing again. Oh, really? Okay. That's, uh... That's a good sport. Yeah, I mean, Sifka's a cool dude overall. Okay, so killing the Aspirant here is actually a big deal because it's like one less mana. And it's it's a big deal in the sense that 
for Asthma Die, it makes uh, it makes him feel a lot safer versus combo. Hmm. I would like to see the keeper here. Keeper on keeper. Keepo. I was gonna wrath draw and then play Darnassus or a sh oh he's hoping for a shade here. Shade would be so sick. Swipe. Okay. Yeah. Well, at this point, it basically doesn't matter anymore because, I mean, his opponent's at 17. He can go up to 18, and uh, he himself can do 17 damage max. Actually, no. Wait. Can he do more? Yeah. Nah. Seven. No, he can't. He can't do more. No. I think 17's max. Pretty sure, actually. Oh my god. The loon guides my lens. Is Reddit like hating on it or what's going on? <laughs> it seems like it. All right. I'll read it up after the match. I'm going to concentrate on this cast. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's fine, buddy. Check. I should drag off the top. It's pretty decent, but he needs to clear or clear both of these minions in order to survive versus combo. And that's not going to happen. So we are going to see the game going over to Zelay. And he's actually going to pick up the lead 2 to 1 here. So Asmo, after being up 1 0 is going to go down 2-1 for now, and he only has his mage now to reverse sweep the entire rest of Zelay's decks, which is only this deck that he has right now, the obvious druid, that he's going to be staying on, and the paladin. So let's see if it works out for Asmo. It's definitely possible, but the matchup for his freeze mage versus this druid is not the best. So if he wins that, he's very favored versus the paladin of Zelay, but he has to get there first. Yeah, so two to one for Zelay right now. Maybe we can go ahead and read the chat. I haven't seen that for like a couple of minutes. Yep, of course. <sighs> it's still the same spam. <laughs> you it guys hasn't man. changed one bit. <laughs> this is awesome. Like, even though it's the same few persons uh, that are, I don't know, spamming, they're continuously doing it for, I don't know, at least 15 minutes up until now. That is <laughs> so, so cool. Full-on support, man. It's like yeah. a stadium. You know how, like, in a soccer stadium or in, like, a football or basketball stadium, people just sing throughout the whole yeah. game? It's like the same thing. We're getting mainstream, guys. Hey, Schnibbly, what's going on, man? We added some new copy pasta of what phase. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So here is the unfavored matchup for Zelay, which he can obviously still win. Uh, sorry, for Asmodai, which he can obviously still win if his opponent doesn't have the greatest hand and he has a good hand. He has a decent hand himself, but uh, his opponent obviously also with a very good hand. Like, Asmodai's going to feel good about doing this. He's like, okay, denied the Shredder, and then he's going to see a Shade, and that's just bad. That is just horrible. He did not want to see that. Picks up his first secret, did not want to see that either. You never want to draw those. Double Arcane Intellect, maybe a little too overkill. He's happy with a Loot Hoarder in hand, though. Alex is, like, okay to have in hand. So, basically, you have to slow down your opponent as much as possible, which you don't really have too much impact on. Wow, another secret draw here is horrible, though. And, uh, yeah, hope for him to, like, build up his board super slowly. So, this is a really awkward turn for Zelay. Like, it's next level awkward, actually. Because you can't play your keeper really. Like, you could play it, but then you're, like, super susceptible to, like, a, a board freeze followed up with a Doomsayer. So, you kind of want to keep that. And swiping face feels wrong, but you could actually do it. And the, reason, the only reason I think you're not doing that and just hero powering is the one armor you gain off of that. That's why I think that you hero power here. Otherwise, swipe face is totally fine. Like, it's actually okay. So uh, for me, it's either Keeper because he like doesn't care about the Doomsayer or isn't like afraid of it and just chooses a different line of play because it gives him more damage over the next two turns, right? Because you're not expecting the Doomsayer before five anyways. Or he just hero powers. Yeah. There it is. And bam. And bam, indeed. <laughs> and tonight is picked up. What you gonna do, buddy? People overvalue the coin so much in this matchup, by the way. You could easily play Arcane and Elect Loot Hoarder with a coin. That like you can easily do that. Like it's completely fine. The only reason you would keep your coin is not Antonitis. You don't keep it for Antonitis. You keep it because you want to coin into like a bigger drop for that. Like let's say he draws Thoris on next turn, for example. But other than that, no reason to. 
to armsmen. What to do to the general. Yeah, what to do, Asmo. You better think, man. Your life <laughs> your tournament life depends on it. Yeah. Hmm. This is okay. Nice barrier. Ice barrier. I guess it's fine. Coiny the loot hoarder with this. Huh. I like it. Because he's like thinking about the turn five plays that his opponent could have. And there's only three that come to mind, right? It's like Drake, Lothab, or uh, Druid of the Claw. And every single one is like okay. Or against every single one, it's like okay or even good to play the loot hoarder. I think it's okay. Yep. What to do? I mean, you don't want to play Loth of here, really, as a lay, because versus Freeze Mage, it's like the key card. You want to play that to seal the game or uh, play defensively if you do see that Antonitis. So, yeah. That's why he is either playing the Drake or Hero Powering, and that's awkward, so I'd be really surprised to not see a Drake. Like, really surprised. Hmm. Like, it's either that or something weird. Like, not playing the Drake is, like, not... Yeah, you do it. Okay. BGH picked up. It's not good. It's not bad. Going face. Nope. Oh. I like it. You don't have to be scared of a doomsayer. Okay. Frostbolt picked up. Kind of weird for Asmo. Actually, it's okay. I guess you're okay. like first, see what you get. And then you, like, maybe even Frostbolt trade your loot hoarder. You could also, like, Frostbolt ping and keep your loot hoarder alive. But, like, that doesn't do too much. Because turn six for Druid, as I always say when I talk about it, is a uh, removal turn. Like, the only thing that can really come out there next to, like... Innervate shenanigans is uh, an emperor. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, like smaller, like lesser plays. For example, a like shredder hero power. There's the intellect. Yeah. The very important flame strike and the frostbolt. So depending on what delay draws here, Shredder. I'm very interested to see if he wants to loath up here. Because your opponent wastes a turn if you do this, which is huge. Plus it cements your Ancient of Lore next turn. You can lure so easy next turn. But then again, it's so awkward to play loath up early on if you feel like you might also need it later on and you don't just need it yet. So he's going to attack first here, check what it is. I mean, it's always Ice Barrier or Ice Block, obviously, but just checking indeed, playing Lothib, and saying, hey, buddy, how about you just click that end turn button? <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, and as I said, this is, like, super awkward. Like, you ping pass here. <laughs> like, that's what you do. You can't do anything else. This looks really bad for Asma right now. Like, really bad. Damn. Like, actually bad. <laughs> it has not much to do for Asma dying. Oh, nice. Doomsayer. It's fine playing the Doomsayer. It's actually a good play in my book, just because he would have probably bet on playing this with a Frost Nova next turn, and he would have gotten wrecked by the Silence then. So it feels like this is a little better. Oof. Since it also makes Flame Strike better next turn. Yeah, I like this. Well, it's actually such a good play by Asmo, because you can make your opponent misplay with this pretty hard. The ping on the uh, Lothip kind of telegraphs the Flame Strike, but it could also just be mind game. So Zelay's going to think around that and be like, okay, so what's good and safe at the same time? Uh, I guess I'll attack that thing down and like Ancient of Lore. Uh, but then I lose too much damage, so maybe I'll attack that thing down and pile the Shredder. 
I can also just silence it. Hero power, gain two more HP that are like permanent, and do 11 to face. Man, that sounds pretty good. Let's go with that. <laughs> Why are they all bio thumping? Because of the uh, bad position that Asmo's in. Well, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. And if he does. <laughs> <laughs> and if he does lose this game, he's yeah. going to be out of the tournament, which is super sad for all the Asmo fans. Uh, this is true, but they can uh, watch him playing poker at the table. That's true. I mean, he's, he's having he's a blast He's one of here, the main, main poker players. That's true. Like, guys, let me tell you this. Asmo's having a blast here. Like, for all you guys, I mean, I know that he's, like, not streaming every day. And he's actually feeling really sorry about that, I think. Um, but, like, he's having a great time here, guys. So, yeah. Like... He's really enjoying him. Be himself. happy for and, him. And I mean, obviously, he would have liked to gone further in the tournament, but at least he made like he made round of sixteen, uh, played well, uh, and yeah, Earned he's having fun. Tons of money while playing poker. Uh, do you know, <laughs> is he up in money? I don't know. But oh, okay. If it's just like I don't know. Some of those players must must be poor right now because I've <laughs> seen so many cash wandering over that table. Probably. All right. Thinking about how he's going to do this since he's not out just yet. Uh, the blizzard. Blizzard ice lance. I like it. Yeah, that's good. That gives him a little bit more time. Double ancient lore in hand. We should see one of those right now. We should be seeing one of them. Yep, there's number one. Living Roots. Oh, innovate. Do you want to play the Living Roots, though? I mean, <laughs> do you want to play the Living Roots? You could also play... Uh... Nope. No. So, here's the deal. There's no secrets up. So, if he just flame strikes here... He dies to an, like a possible combo, but he's still gonna do it. Um, question is if he ice lances with it. Now I don't think you do this in any case. Like even if you're hanging on for your tournament life, it's not the it's not the winning play. You need the ice lance for damage, but he's still gonna do it. Now I disagree, but it's okay. Oh, there's the combo. Okay, so I guess I'm wrong after all. Oh yeah. I don't think you combo yet. I think you set up everything for a potential combo kill next turn. Like swipe face or something. Like, you know, like actual shenanigans to deal some serious damage. Gonna wait on what he decides on. Damn the spam in chat, the, uh, man. Yeah, I think the spam has even increased now. <laughs> is, this, is this forces chat? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> Time waits for no Asmo, one. Asmo, take my energy. I guess he would take it gladly, but it's just really looking tricky for him. No, no, he does not look like Forson. He looks like Christopher Walken. We've already established that. Well, does Forson look like Christopher Walken is the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Frost Nova picked up. It's decent to stay alive. Uh, he could play that plus a potential heal lot if he wanted to. That doesn't allow him to ping, though. Uh, he also has an Acolyte with it. We're about to find out. Did you actually just Google Forsen to see if they look alike? I, I wanted to have a picture. It was a Forsen. joke, man. <laughs> to, to see if... Yeah, but... No. <laughs> <sighs> no, he does not look like that. Like Jesse Pinkman. What? Forsen looks like Jesse Pinkman. No! I, 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 agree, I agree wholeheartedly with that statement. 
Ice block. Oh, this is pretty good. Because now if he gets comboed, he can still Alexstrasza up and there's like nothing on board for him. I like it. So we're, we're going to have to see if that's even what uh, Soleil wants to go for. Because popping the block looks right and I still think it's correct. So you get Alex and that's fine because you have BGH. So you start a new game from there where you're still ahead on board. Yep, that's a good sequence. The only thing from there is like an Antonidas Frost Nova. So I like it. What's chat saying? Chat is saying this th the same, same thing, thing it said 20 minutes ago yeah <laughs> the spam asmo is the life of party <laughs> parties he has never attended if he were to pat you on the back you would list it on your resume both side of his pillow <laughs> is cool when you uh when you're in rome they do as he does sharks have a week dedicated to him <laughs> the asmo shark week of course all right, block is going to be popped here. Poppity pop. He might decide to innervate the living roots. Oh, okay. Not going to do it. And this is going to result in an Alexstrasza. For sure. Oh, wait, is that enough, though? Wait, 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 wait. So, oh god, there's a lot of damage here. Um, so if he just Alex's, that means he goes to 15. There's four on board. Double swipe makes that 13, plus living roots. That makes it 12, makes that... <laughs> wait, is this lethal? Oh. Okay, god, I have to go, like, back to, to middle school to check this out. So, three times four is 12, plus living roots is 14. Plus innervate hero power is 15. Yes, so Lay is counting that right now as well. And he's checking it out. And he knows that it's game. I like how he actually pointed his fingers. It helps, man. It actually helps. Because like your your brain is like visualizing it at the same point. Alrighty. Oh man. So that's gonna be it for Asmo. Feels bad, man. Feels bad for Asmo, man. He is out of the tournament. Played well though. Yeah, well played. And, uh, yeah, Zolay taking the win. And it's going to move on to the Deciders match, where he is going to face uh, Powder, I believe. Yes. Who uh, uh, lost in the... Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Powder lost in... Uh, what did you say, production? Yeah, okay. Robert's Powder. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, man, the Bible oh, thumps. Oh, man, man, man. <laughs> and all Zolay said was Druid things. <laughs> at the end of that game. So, uh, yeah, poor Asma out of the tournament. Very well played by Zelay, though. He's going to move on to the Deciders match, which is coming up very shortly versus Powder. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to see that after the break. Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you after the break. Don't go anywhere. See ya.